guys and welcome back to my channel it is your girl brandy chanel coming to you with another video um this is not a normal typical video for me this one i'm kind of just wanted to come to you guys and kind of apologize and give you a little bit of an update um i have not uploaded any videos this week and i am sorry for that but i am having a bit of a family situation um my dad is ha had open heart surgery this past Monday, which was the 25th of June, I believe. And so um, I have been kind of dealing with that and I've been at the hospital with him every day um, and spending a night with him every day. So I really miss my little ones. I really miss my husband. Um, I've been going to work also. So I'm extremely exhausted and that has not left me any time to, you know, film any any videos or any hauls or anything for you guys. I'm actually headed to the hospital right now. Um, left work early, going to see my dad. Um, spend spend the day and night with him, and then you know wake up early in the morning, leave the hospital, go home, shower, put on my work clothes, and go to work. So that's kind of been my life this past week. Um, and if you guys, I mean, you wouldn't know if, unless you know me personally. But a little bit of backstory about me. Um, and maybe one of these days I will give you guys my testimony on uh, my channel, kind of share with you guys a little bit more about me and my life. But um, my dad is 73 years old. He's actually my grandfather, um, but he raised me from nine months. He and my grandmother raised me from nine months. My, my mom, um, which, so when I say mom and dad, I'm speaking of my grandparents 95% of the time um, I do call my birth parents mom and dad also because you know they've been in my life they just did not raise me so out of you know it's a, it's a respect thing you know I just so I nine times out of ten when I'm referencing my parents I'm speaking of my grandparents um, but occasionally I could be talking about my birth parents um, my uh, mom just passed away this past November she had some really um, you know she just she was older she's actually older than my dad she was 78 so um, she's about six years older than him she would have been 79 in March um, of this year but she passed in November of 2017 and so um, she had you know she just had some health issues um, congestive heart failure and then just everything um, she also had open heart surgery and all of that. So um, she was just in really bad health, but my dad never, ever left her side. And so, you know, there weren't any nights that she spent in the, in the hospital alone. Um, nine times out of ten, it was him spending a night with him. If it wasn't him, one of uh, uh, my aunt, Kathy, I think, would spend time with her, uh, would spend the night with her if she was at the hospital. But nine times out of ten, it was my dad. And she never left her side. And um, the older she got, the more sick she got, he actually ended up retiring um, early to take care of her and spend that time with her. So um, this is kind of difficult for me and, um, you know, it's tiresome. I'm exhausted all, all day long at my job, well, half the day because my boss has been, you know, courteous enough and kind enough to let me leave early all this week. I had Monday, the day that he had the surgery, I had Monday off. Um, but my boss has been, you know, nice enough to let me off early throughout the week to just go and be with him. Um, because I, I will not let him be alone. I, I won't let him be alone. My mom didn't have to do that. He was there for her. And I just don't think that it's right that he be by himself because he's been too good to my family. Um, you know, and, and again, I'll give you guys my testimony and, you know, all of that at a later time, if God willing. But um, he's just been too good of a man to me personally for me to leave him and let him be by himself. So if I got to be exhausted and um, wear myself out for, for however long it takes for him to get where he needs to be, then that's what I'm going to do. Because the Bible says that you need to honor your mother and thy father. And that's what I'm going to do. That's my daddy and that's what I'm going to do. So if nobody else will, please believe that I will. And that's what I'm doing. And so I just kind of wanted to come on here and explain to you guys because I have been absent. And uh, I didn't want you guys to get, you know, upset or anything. I do have some wonderful things in the podcast. 
pipeline for you guys. Um, and it's been getting to me because I am, I have an, a desire to film. This is my passion. This is something I love to do. I love talking to you guys. I love, you know, um, filming my fashion videos and all of that. And I will get back on it as soon as his health allows me to. Um, you know, y'all, my nails are looking raggedy. <laughs> I really need to wash my hair. I'm just looking a whole mess, but um, everything in God's time and you know, um, it's just kind of how it has to be right now. Huge shout out to my husband for holding down my boys, his niece for watching them when he's at work. Just, you know, anybody and everybody who is praying for my family, I just really appreciate it. And even you guys, if you're watching this, if you could just please lift my dad. His name is Charles. If you could just lift him up in prayer, keep my family lifted up in prayer. Um, and, you know, I know God is going to heal him and I know he will do it in his time. Um, and so I'm just expecting that and I'm waiting on that. So if you guys would please do that for me, I would really appreciate it. Um, we are still growing steadily, guys. The, I think we're at like 869 right now. I'm really pushing for us to get to that thousand so we can do this giveaway. I will be doing a video of everything that I'm giving away so you guys can see, you know, exactly what you will be winning at that thousand at that thousand subscriber mark i will not wait till i hit a thousand subscribers to show what i'm going to give in the giveaway because i think that's silly i already have um, all of the things that i'm going to give away so um, i will go ahead and show you guys what you can expect in that giveaway and i will just leave it open until we hit that mark um but yeah guys just want to come on here and share a little bit with you about that a little personal didn't want to be too, you know, dreary and sad about it because I, my God is a healer and I know that my dad is going to be okay. I'm not sad at all. You know, it's something that he needed to have. Um, and so, uh, I'm glad that, you know, he was able to get the surgery and now it's just all about recovery and he's in really good spirits. He's anxious to get up and moving. So, you know, uh, most of the work is the will to do better and be better. And he has that. So I'm not worried about him getting through it. There are a few scary moments, I'm not gonna lie, you know, times when I'm waking up in the middle of the night and he's in pain, you know, that's hard for me to deal with, but I'm dealing with it. And so, I just ask again that you guys will keep me and my family and my dad, Charles, uh, Constantine, in your prayers, and uh, keep my family in your prayers, keep my boys in your prayers, uh, and I will see you guys soon enough, I promise you. I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. I'm going to continue to stay consistent. I just, you know, I got to take care of my daddy. So I love you guys so much. And I cannot wait to film another video and get back with you guys. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all next time. I love you so much. I love you so much. Bye.